Hi, it's Monica with ADI. And I often get asked about the difference between justification and evidence. So I hope this short video will help explain the difference. It's probably easier to talk about what does not count as evidence. Data alone is not evidence because it requires analysis to help support your claim. Evidence should be empirically verifiable, reproducible, and does not include statements like, because we think so. At ADI, we consider data those observations or numbers that you collect during the investigation. Evidence is a combination of that data plus an analysis, which is what are you gonna do with that data, and then an interpretation, which is what does that data show me? It should also include some sort of chart or graph and a one in two sentence explanation of what's being shown in that chart or graph. We want students to do the intellectual work to select which data or observations are important and represent those findings in a graph or chart. If students have a data point that they can justify as being an outlier, then they should be able to exclude that data point just like a real scientist would. In ADI, explaining what the evidence means is really just part of your evidence. It's part of the analysis and the interpretation. The justification should really be about the bigger scientific principles that connect back to this lab, as well as an assumption or two that was made throughout the investigation. A strong student justification will relate back to key concepts that can often be found in the information presented in the idea stage. The justification should almost be experiment independent and really shouldn't be about any sort of data analysis or interpretation. So I know this can be a little bit complex, so let's take a look at some examples. Looking at this physical science investigation, you can see that the justification is really just an assertion. There's no reason for why the evidence proves us right and no link to the overarching science principles. Now, notice how the justification talks about the core ideas around density as well as making an assumption about why the calculated values are different than the exact published values. Also, if we look at their evidence, there's a comparison that is beginning to be an interpretation as well. This final example shows actual student work from our blood typing lab. And I just love this first justification. The idea that blood type is inherited is an important concept. If blood type was not inherited, then the data wouldn't have any purpose. It's a great example of tying the core concepts of science back to the data to justify why that data is worth looking at. Thanks for watching.